So we've been discussing in Cabinet a lot of financial reports. Um, those are often a bit dry and dull, uh, but they're actually really important for us as an authority. Um, we've had the, the first quarter monitoring reports coming through. Now, they're never the best indication of, of how the year is going. Um, often in a normal year, we'd, we'd, we'd find that a lot of data is still coming in, that we're looking at, um, a, 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 at a deficit that then clears up over the course of the year. This time around with COVID, um, we're in a different position where we have a budget surplus for the first quarter of the year, which is a, a very nice place to be. Um, but it sets, means that, that it's something we will continue to monitor uh, over the course of, of, of the next six months and then, and then to the end of the financial year. Um, we're also really importantly, from my point of view, looking in more, more a detail at capital and how we're dealing with our capital expenditure. Capital is extremely important to the way in which we can deliver changes to services, the way we can deliver changes to the council. And it's something where perhaps in the past our, our estimates have been a little off kilter. Um, so we're trying to get a lot more focus on both the capital the projects that we have coming through and the benefits that they will bring, which is great. Um, perhaps more challengingly for us, we're also looking at, at what we call the medium-term financial strategy. That is covering the, it, the amount of money that we are going to not so much save but, but redeploy, the cost pressures that we will face over the course uh, of the next four years um, and the changes that we will have to make with our existing resource because we're limited in how much money we can bring in to address that. Now, uh, the, the main source of funding that we have comes from council tax. But we're also looking as an authority to develop other, other ways of raising revenue, bringing money in, but also addressing the social, um, the social demands, the social imperatives we have. Stone Circle Housing is a great example of that, where we can both generate a return for the council, but also address, um, uh, provide housing for, for, for people who need it at, a, at an affordable level rather than, than looking at the open market rent. Um, so it's a complex picture. Um, I have to be honest, I think it's probably the most challenging year we faced um, since the, well, since austerity started, whenever that was, 2010. So it's, it's, it's going to be, be a, an interesting process as to how we close the current gap of about 40 million for next year. Uh, but a lot of that is out of our hands. We're waiting for a government spending review. That will close some of the gap. We just don't know how much. So it's going to be a lot of work over the next few months between um, the cabinet and, and officers to look at, at what we can do to close that gap and, and find the savings that we need to deal with the inflationary pressures that we have in areas like adult social care. I was really, really pleased at cabinet that we had a report coming outlining uh, money that's been given to, to us by government, by Ministry for um, Housing Communities and Local Government, to address um, the support for, for victims of domestic abuse. Um, government's been, it's the second uh, scheme like this that government are looking at. We've had funding coming in for rough sleepers that's been really effective. We've had consistent funding now for several years there and been able to make significant steps in terms of the, the support, the outreach provision that we've been able to give and the facilities that we can offer rough sleepers. And now to be able to start doing the same thing um, for domestic abuse is something that I, I think is extremely important for us as an authority. We've been given over £800,000 by government. There's perhaps some uncertainty is the wrong word, but we will, we will find out how that, that money will work. Um, money covers the first two years, so how that money will work beyond that. But government are committed to a program to um, a, provide support and try and reduce um, domestic abuse. And this will enable us to put a lot of different elements of support in including support to uh, military families where there's domestic abuse there, um, with, with behind the wire um, support going in for families. So it's, it's really a good news story. It's an incredibly complex, challenging area. Um, I don't want to underestimate how difficult it will be to address and how hard it will be to actually turn the resource that we've been given into meaningful change on the ground. But I have no doubt that we can do it. Um, and and it, it, it's a really positive step.